Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how we can use the image prompt in Timet Yoni to create some artificial intelligence images. So let's take uh, right into it. The first thing you want to do is to go into the metjoni.com and once you are in here, what you want to do is to go into the beta mode. Once you are into the beta mode, what you can do is to open new tab and of course you want to open your Discord. And once you open your Discord, you want to leave that already opened. And what I want to do is to go back into the Metzioni so I can make the authorization between the Metzioni and the Discord. So as you can see, I'm now inside my Discord and here I have my Metzioni channel. And here is really easy to work in here and to Metzioni. What I want to do, of course, is to locate the option that says add a server. Here to add a server, I want to create my new server here. I want to go and create my own. And once you create your own, it's gonna be appearing into the upper side. So now what I want to do, of course, is to go into the newbies rooms and locate the bot of Medjourney. The actual bot that's gonna be creating all of these amazing images. So I want to add this server into my channel. Add to server, I want to add this into my AI images that I created here. And just like that, if I scroll all my way up, I'm going to be showing you the first option that appears. It would be like MetjoniBot hopped into the server. Really, really simple, guys. And we've done this within a minute or maybe two. So once we are in here, we can start by going and look for the fast forward slash tool. And here, as you can see, we can go into MetjoniBot. In here, I can see that there's a lot of options that I can choose in order to work with the Metajoni. So what you want to do is to work with the Imagine tool. The Imagine tool is going to be helping us to create this kind of images that I just created into my server. For example, I used a slash fast, fast forward image, imagine prompt an astronaut riding a healer whale and navigating through the galaxy with mysterious creatures in a hyper-realistic style in high quality and 4k so this is like just for uh high quality reasons so the computer generate me automatically these four images and it was really really easy to create that what i just need to do is, is that if i find uh someone that i kind of like i want to choose that option and I want to upscale that. If I don't like any of those, I can re, uh, redo the work. So what I did is to select this option and I try to ask the server to upscale my image number one. This is the reason why I use upscale one. And here it is my upscale of my image. So this is the final result of the image that was created by the Mattoni. If you love that, you can read that in here. If you want to see like different tools, you are actually good to go. And in my case, guys, uh, what you can do, what I can strongly suggest to you, if you see that there is like some kind of a mistake there, let's say that I want to save this image. I want to hit save and I want to click in here. Now, if you put like a little tension here into the details, I can see that this guy is missing like part of the leg. So um, the backpack is kind of weird. So what you can do if you want to edit that, what I can do is to go into the X mark and look for something, another artificial intelligence application that can help me just to uh, edit a few details about that. So uh, I'm going to open Dali number two. This is another place where you can start to edit your own stuff here. You can use uh, Stable Diffusion. You can use some other uh, tools for the artificial intelligence. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing into just uh, the actually the Metzioni. But here I just use these Dali number two as an example that what I can do here is to uh, don't focus a lot into whether it's realistic, whether it's a a very, very great with great details or not. I think that if I am missing a few details, what I can do is just do simple, uh, simply use another place, correct those details, and then we are actually good to go. Now, in this case, what I did is to upload the image that I created into Metzioni, which is actually this one. I'm going to hit into continue. I'm going to hit into crop. And real, really easy just to select the edit image. 
All right, so here what I just did is to close up here and try to delete the parts that I don't like or what I want to see the missing parts. For example, this leg is missing. So I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm going to import astronaut left um, on a killer whale. Hit into the enter to generate something new. And I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds here. I'm going to zoom a little bit out or zoom a little bit uh, like this. So what's going to be doing here, dialing number two is going to be generating like the part, just editing the few details that I wanted to edit into the missing parts of the Mets journey. So here I have my original part. This is the deleted file. And here is the generated leg that I've been missing. So I think like the best that I can choose is this option. So I'm going to get into edit once again. And I'm going to try to do exactly the same thing. Just I want to make this shoe a little bit different. Like I want to choose this option on astronaut shoe like this hit into the X enter mark. So this is how we can just use all this DALI, uh, all this Metjoni, all these artificial intelligence uh, editors so we can have like the most accurate image and with raised resolutions. So if I go back into the desk into the Discord server, I can import the same image in here into Discord and I can make the variation of the option that we just created. So I want to see which shoe we, we do have available, I think I can stick around with this one. All right, I'm going to see the latest one. All right, so here we have this option, for example. I'm going to hit into download. I'm going to hit into save. I'm going to go back into my Discord server. And here, what I want to do is to scroll all my way down and pull my latest image that I created into Dali. I mean, I added it into, into Dali. So here is my image, right? What you want to do is to hit into copy the image address. I want to hit into imagine. Once again, remember this prompt. I'm going to paste the image address and I want to make variations like this. And I'm going to send the comment to Methjoni. Now, as you can see, it says waiting to start and we have the percentage and the facet option. What we need to do is just to wait. It's really, really simple. If you want to edit a few stuff here before making the comment here, you want to go into fast forward slash and hit into settings. So here into settings, I'm going to view all the adjustments of here. So for example, I can choose Metjoni version number three. I can choose high quality here. I can choose a public mode and a fast mode into relax mode. So that's really depends on you, depending on what you are looking for. And here, as you can see, my image has been created. Uh, this is successfully, there are different options that I can see here. It's really, really weird that I have different options here. But this is how Medioni works. This is how we can use this uh, as a really powerful tool to work with. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was a very really useful video for you. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more great tools about the... Matt's Joni application. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Good luck.